finally, so while we were sitting waiting for our buffalo to come out, we could hear some Impala's alarm calling. So we sat and waited and Rexon, he's just lying in the shade here, Rexon went to follow up on the Impala alarm calls and look who we have found. Nope, not Rexon in the background at his guest, but it's Hukumuri, that big male leopard that we saw live on the show this morning. He's not far from where he killed that warthog, but he is far from where he killed the steenbok. And he seems to be sniffing around looking for something else to eat. I really don't think that he managed to get that warthog back from those hyenas that we saw earlier this morning. And it is still quite warm, although not as warm as before. So he's definitely on, on the hunt for another meal. You can see him panting and moving his whole body. <sighs> that helps him relieve a lot of that heat. Yes, he's got a nice big thick neck, this male. Beautiful male leopard. Now don't forget we are live and interactive. Hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. We're on the YouTube chat and we love your questions. <laughs> oh, Paula, thank you for the giggle. You're saying chicken medicine. Exactly. So, uh, hukamuri means chicken medicine in Shangan. It is not the most stately name for a leopard, um, <laughs> but it is a, it's a good name to have a chuckle over. And I believe Tristan has told you the story about how he was named after a, a river line, a, a drainage line uh, south from us, but that the, there's been a lot of talk around the fact if he is actually Hukumuri female's son and not another male. And I believe the story is that he was misnamed and he is not, in fact, that son. Maybe we can give him a nickname on Safari Live. All right, we're in a funny little position. What I would like to do is just... Oh, some Egyptian geese are yelling at us. I just want to move forward and around a little bit. If you all wouldn't maybe mind letting me do that. And while we are busy doing that, why don't we head over to another leopard, a much younger leopard, to Tristan and Hassana. I have a leopard making a move, that's for sure. And I have to share a story with you all as we watch this indecent footage of Hukumuri. I've got Jandre with me, and Jandre and I like to sing when we're on the car. And Jandre was singing Soft Kitty just now, and it's making me laugh really, really, really hard. And now I can tell all of you are doing Soft Kitty in your heads as well. Um, yeah, it's... <laughs> you gotta have fun out here. You definitely have to have fun. So he's decided to come out on the road and he's doing, he did a little bit of scent marking. Now he's just had a bit of a bowel movement and it looks as if he's definitely eaten something more than that steamboat that we saw earlier. I am going to try and move forward so that we can keep him in view. We've got Rexon and his guests in the background there joining us in our sighting. Well, he found them, so we are joining him in this beautiful sighting. Now, some of you have said that you are going to rename this male leopard the Go Away Male, and then I believe James Hendry said that you're going to call him the Hulk. So he's he's getting a few nicknames. That's quite nice. Oh, sorry, James Richard. James Richard, you're calling him the Hulk. James, I like it. That's a beautiful screenshot, everybody. I don't know if you managed that there. When he turned his head a little bit to the right. We've got some nice light that's filtering through. From the background, it's going to be sunset shortly. Now he's stopped, he's spied something, he's looking, he's decided, nope, not for me. And he's gonna carry around on around the backside of that termite mount. And then once we lose view, I'm just going to move around so that we can try and keep him on screen as long as possible. Now this morning during show, he was in this exact same area. This is where he went after he killed the warthog and then stashed it and then was sniffing around. So he seems to be making figure eights and loops. And if you all have been watching with us for a while, Tristan had the same problem with Hukumuri for days. 
Nancy Drew, you'd like to know if we collect leopard scat for panthera. Nancy Drew, we don't collect the leopard scat, but we do give them movements of lions when we see them. Uh, some of the research I used to do with lions, I would collect their dung after they had had a kill uh, to collect genetic material, but I haven't had to do that with leopards. I do know that they're obviously panthera does it as well as some other places, but right physically where we are on Juma, uh, as far as I know, panthera is not doing any active research where they would need that scat uh, with 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 them it's very stinky when it's fresh like this by the way all right let's head up to kenya to another cat one of africa's three largest cats to ralph and his lions who are also on the move and we're going to move around and get another view everyone this is the screenshot that other screenshot was beautiful but this is gorgeous Ukamuri having a drink at one of the little seasonal pans that's filled up after that beautiful rain we had last night. I think this will be a good time to take possibly our moment of silence. This is too good to give up. <laughs> okay, well, the moment of silence didn't work. We have neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. So basically where we're sitting to be able to get the best photography is uh, Rex and I are sitting right next to each other. And this is just such an amazing sighting that obviously we want everybody to enjoy as well. So we got a little bit of a moment of silence there and we will definitely do another moment of silence. I can also hear cameras going in the background and I'm itching for my camera. But as you all are so kind to me every day, I know you'll send me through some screenshots. Eric, really good question. Leopards can definitely get mange. Um, any of the wildlife, mammal wildlife that we see out here can get mange. It is a um, parasite. Uh, the scarcopic mange is the one that we get here, that one that you would see with the Styx pride. And the parasite burrows down into the follicle of hair at the base there by the skin and then causes a, a great amount of infection and itchiness. And then the, the itching causes more infection. And then obviously the mange carries on. Now you can get rid of mange, as you've seen with the sticks, they're not looking as bad. But if your overall health is not good, then the mange won't necessarily leave you. And that mange, that scarcopic mange that comes over actually comes from domesticated animals like dogs and cats. So proximity of wildlife areas to proximity of human inhabited areas leads to wildlife having things like mange. Great question, Eric. I can actually hear him drinking just a little bit. But I think it's a bit too far. It's just a tiny little lap lap. Oh, you guys can hear it as well. That's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Now, James has a moment for all of you. Maybe we can do our peaceful moment with him there with the sunset as Hukumuri finishes up his drink. So he's had his bit of a drink and now he's going to have a nice rest next to this seasonal pan. So we can get a nice long look at him. And there's a beautiful reflection. Thank you for that, Jandre. That is gorgeous. Beautiful reflection in the water there. I'm really enjoying this mail. I, I know that it's hard. I also, I, you know, I don't want anything to happen to, sorry, I'm just going to wait for these guys to move out. I also don't want anything to happen to Tundi's cub. And I would like Tingana to stick around. I really enjoy Tingana. But it's nice to see a new face. And it's nice to see a face with such a crazy character. That one eye on his right-hand side that sort of sinks in. And the fact that he's sort of sitting here with his tongue sticking out like that. He's, he, he really is the thug of our area. Bobby, you're saying you're not ready for the drive to be over. You're putting that in capitals. Bobby, I agree. I definitely agree. We've had a nice drive. We've also had excellent TV shows and excellent drives this past week. We've had some really, really, really great sightings. I'm also not ready. We've got that beautiful sunset that's coming through. We've got our male leopard that's sitting here. But don't worry, Bobby. We're also going to be back tomorrow at a 5.30 hour time till 8.30. And twice a day. Oh no, sorry, tomorrow morning we're not back tomorrow morning. I'm so sorry. That was a mistake. Tomorrow morning we don't have show. Tomorrow morning we have off. Tomorrow afternoon we have show and show will be at 3.30 our time. I'm sorry about that. Please excuse me. I'm so used to the double shows. 
So it's 2.30 Kenyan time, which is, I believe, 3.30 our time, Kirst, yeah? <laughs> I think so. Oh, the other way around. So 2.30 our time, which is 3.30 Kenyan time. Thank you, Kirsty. Sorry about that. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for a lovely afternoon. Myself and Jandre and from uh, James and Tristan and Ralph and the Mara. We hope that you enjoyed and we hope that you'll join us.